If you thought that the old order of exchanging blows and hurling chairs at each other during debate in the former municipal councils was gone, then you are wrong. Nairobi County yesterday proved just that. Now the forest might have changed, but the actors remained the same. But only under a new title can best describe what the country has witnessed in the last few days in various county assemblies. A section of the MCAs disagreed with the verdict issued by the House Speaker Alex Olemagelo that those in support of a creation of an ad hoc committee to investigate the Transport Committee had actually won. I was actually supposed to be the last member contributing to the motion because the Speaker had already highlighted the people who will contribute and he said Isaac will be the last person. Yes. So when I, I rose up and he realized that I'm opposing the motion, he actually told me to sit down. He again continued direct, he continued to direct and influence the debate and then called another member to come and make the final contribution. It's at that point when I rose and I told the speaker I had not finished with my debate. He actually asked me to sit down. So that's the point I rose and, uh, and said that the speaker, you're influencing debate, and I was, I was suspended. So the MCAs accused the speaker of bias and tilting the debate to suit some unknown end. I'm convinced that the speaker is biased. The speaker, not once, not twice, not thrice, often contributes to debate often guides the house on the direction to take he influences the direction the debate will go something that is against the standing orders minority leader abdi guyo says the act was despicable and uncalled for urging his colleagues to behave honorably and sort out issues with decorum 90 percent of the elected mcs and the nominated one are not from the former council as people may want to put it some of them are Highly educated, some of them, who fought yesterday. Some of them are accountants, some of them are... In this Nairobi, we have lawyers, we have accountants, we have engineers. And the same, same caliber of leaders fought. Guyo has defended Magello from accusations that he was biased, saying the speaker's accusers were being malicious. According to Guyo, the Assembly's Powers and Privileges Committee will investigate the matter as well as summon those involved and take the appropriate action. The speaker is not involved in any debate or in any voting. But the story is not exclusive to Nairobi. <laughs> Members of the Kisumu County Assembly almost exchanged blows yesterday with reports saying the mess had disappeared from the chambers. The Assembly's business was paralyzed for the better part of the day. In this case, the speaker was also accused of frustrating the House business by suppressing any motion that targets her. But as the MCS continue to engage in a shaming spree, questions are now emerging on the caliber of the people elected to these assemblies. June Jacob Curie, Channel One News.